friends and neighbors, bear with me a moment and let's talk about critical thinking, logic, and positive performance. Recently, I premiered a video where I asked the viewer, how many of you believe the late Colin David Eiffelwin Colin Miller's story that he died, was laid on an autopsy table, his heart removed, and then once removed, the heart spontaneously began beating on the autopsy table, which of course prompted uh, the mortician or the coroner, whomever, to put the heart back in the body and David went on to continue living for many, many, many more years. I asked the viewer, do you believe that story? And one viewer said, yes, they did. And then I simply asked them, what is it about that story that caused you to answer yes? And then I did mention from a cursory Google search that it is indeed possible for a beating human heart to be removed from a living body, set aside, and by itself, it will continue to beat for three to five minutes. That's continuance of the evidence. There's proof that that has happened. Also, a human heart, a beating human heart can be removed and then kept for like five hours, I think, if you put it on ice. That is also possible. But what has never been compiled or recorded is a heart that is still taken from a pronounced dead decedent body, removed, that heart removed from the dead body, and then the heart suddenly, spontaneously begins beating again. That has never been scientifically peer-reviewed recorded. The only story I've ever heard on that is the one that David shared. So instead of straight up answering the question, the viewer who answered yes, that they believe David's story, actually asked a question in return and said something like, is there any proof that it's not possible for a heart to begin beating again outside the body? Did you hear the way I phrased that question? It's phrased in a negative condition to state. Let me give a simpler example, a less wordy example of similar logic, which is faulty logic, by the way. Say, for example, you tell me that you believe in ghosts. And then I say to you, prove to me a ghost exists. Give me proof of that. And then in turn, instead of providing proof or answering me directly, instead you say, well, go ahead and prove that they don't exist. Can you prove that they don't exist? It's fallacious thinking. If you ask me to go to the store to buy you something, are you going to give me a list of all the things you don't want? Or are you going to give me a list of the things you do want? Of course, we're looking at positive performance here. So in order to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you have to kind of update your thinking mentality because... The fiction system pretty much has programmed us all to think in negative conditions of state. One great example of that is religion. When you get these Ten Commandments, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. It's all negative conditions of state. Authoritarian system. And that's where I think, in my humble opinion, psychology like this, thinking like this, comes from. So the message, if any, to be taken from this particular short video is... I ask my viewers and my students, if you are learning from me, if you are learning from this channel, one of the most important gifts you can give yourself is the gift of logic, the gift of critical thinking, the gift of correcting your mindset from a negative condition of state as this viewer, uh, their, their question was couched in a negative condition of state to a more positive condition of state. A continuance of the evidence is something you can prove. Absence of something is not evidence for a positive performance, if that makes sense. You have to be able to provide proof of a claim. If you say, can you prove that ghosts don't exist? Proving a negative is a negative condition of state. We do not use particles of negation in our facts, in correct sentence structure, because it's all about positive performance. And it's all about weeding out those negative word and psychological performances so that we can move on in a more positive-oriented navigational
direction. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.